Hey, last time I showed you how to remove broken RCA connector pin from RCA socket easy. This time I'll show you how to replace and solder a new RCA connector. Let's simply remove the old, broken RCA plug and replace it with a new RCA. If it was a normal aux audio cable then it would be easier to buy a new one. But this time this RCA cable is connected to a Microlab satellite speaker and you can't buy a new replacement cable and just replace it. To do this you will need to buy a new replacement RCA plug first, these can be found in any audio store or eBay, Amazon or AliExpress. There are different types of RCA plugs, from a few cents to a few tens of dollars for a pair. To change an old RCA you will need some solder kit tools like heat shrink tubing, various tools and of course the soldering iron itself. Start by cutting off the old, damaged RCA plug about 1 to 2 centimeters from the connector end. As a new replacement RCA plug I chose this one, it is not expensive and is of acceptable quality for static use. Unscrew the RCA and put the housing already on the cable, because after soldering you will not be able to do it anymore. Then put a small heat shrink tubing on the cable, which we will use later for a better fixing of the cable in RCA plug. Insert the cable into the RCA plug to see how much of the outer sheath of the cable needs to be removed. Carefully, with a sharp paper knife, remove the outer sheath, but without damaging the inner wires. Separate the wires and remove the insulation for them, but very little for the red wire and almost everything for the black wire. Then check if you can solder nicely, as you can see the black wire is a bit too long and will have to be cut shorter. Then tin both wires for a more quality soldering. Also be sure to tin both RCA connector pins for easier soldering. Cut the extra length of black wire so as not to short the red wire. And solder both wires. If in your case the both wires have different colors, always make sure which color wire is ground and which color wire is signal. RCA plug center pin always is signal. Once both wires are soldered, cut a small piece of insulating tape and put it between the signal and ground wires to avoid short circuits in the future. Then push the cable in with plier, but with feeling so as not to damage the cable. Apply super glue where the cable touches the RCA plug and put heat shrink tubing over the top, this will give a very good fixing of the cable and a long life. Then press the super glue into the RCA plug itself so that the pins are well glued. Screw the RCA connector together. Here's the result. Replace the damaged RCA with a new RCA plug. The speakers can be used like new again. If you also saved money by not buying a new speaker system, hit the like and subscribe buttons for my support and see you in new money saving DIY videos. Thanks and see you later.